Hi everyone, so today I have a video sponsored by Tonic Studios for their brand new heart and hexagon split box showcase. You guys, this is super cool. Um, so they did send these items for your charge for my review and all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. Um, just looking at this, the instructions are pretty straightforward as far as what you're going to be doing. Super cute. I don't know if you can see, obviously you saw in the thumbnail. It makes, uh, it's a showcase that has two different uh, A4 size die sets that's going to make two boxes that open up like this. And there's like a little shelf inside or like a drawer, I suppose, but you bring it out. So, yeah, you can, so um, really, really cute, really inventive and fun. Uh, let me talk about the sizing. So just as they're sitting here, I want to show you, it's like a petite little guy. Look at this. So this is going to be basically the base of your heart die or your heart box should I say and then this one is a hexagon box and they both open up like this like out like a ladybug I guess little wings you know and you bring out the shelf so um let's see it is about three inches tall I would say uh, or in the height there and maybe three and a quarter a little bit bigger than three and a quarter wide so that's the heart and of course I'll measure these if I recall at the very end I am excuse me so today I'm gonna work on the heart box uh, the hexagon again is very similar it's just a different shape but it's basically the same steps you would take um, and this guy is about three inches a little bit bigger than that I'm looking at the cutting portion by three and a half in the longer areas there um, so as you can see here we have the base heart, we have this one that cuts half heart pieces that you'll need. So when it splits open, you need that um, shape, right? Uh, this one might be a little bit larger than that. I'm not quite sure because this is the one for the uh, inside, the little piece that goes inside uh, the drawer kind of piece. And then we have, you know, all the inlays that you expect from tonic. So you have this outer die left and right, which is nice. This one has the little like dots. Um, embellishment in there, uh, a lattice um, drop-in, more of a floral drop-in, you have this cute heart like locket type thing, the little lock, look how cute, it even has a different layer, and then the little part that goes inside if you want to do an inlay for the lock, um, it has love you that you can inlay too instead of that lock portion there. Um, oh, a key with a little heart, super cute. Um, we have this little guy, it looks like a latching system. As you can see, it has like a little space cut in here, so I'm assuming that's how it latches to something like this that you would fold in half and then it fits in here. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> we'll get to that. Um, the decorative piece here. Um, probably having to do with the, again, the little locking me mechanism. And then we have these pieces, and these pieces are gonna help us to create the shape of the heart right with the thickness of a box so we have this portion and this portion and um this is basically for the outer portion because you need the top and the bottom so that you open it up and on the inside you have this little casing right the little uh, box so that we have that decorative portions for that if you like again with the little dot detail or just side again that lattice the floral over here on the hexagon side we also have uh, for you um, a tag that says like just because we have all these portions that you can decorate the outer portion with there uh, I might be missing something right here I get samples guys so mine are a little bit different than yours but we have this piece here um, again with the dot detail this one has like uh, several different patterns as you can see there's like a um, kind of like a vining pattern leaf pattern and then we have like this geometric pattern and then this other one that's very stylized here and then again they echo with what we have over here um, and then tag pieces again uh, for you there and yeah so again a tag here with a little um, actual tag cut out so you can put some little twine or ribbon or whatever is Excuse in there. Looks like this has like some wording here but I'm not exactly sure what it says at the moment but there you go inlay on that. Um, just a lot uh, to play with and mix and match and uh, I think it's just gonna be really lovely. So I'm gonna grab some papers so we can make our base box and then we'll decorate it and I'll be right back. So first we're gonna create our little uh, inside heart box. So I need this guy and we're gonna need two of this. I'm just using the deepest red color. I think that's gonna be really gorgeous. And um, two of this strip, the one that doesn't have the extra um, glue tabs, okay? Because again, we just need the glue tabs on that base part so it's open because it's a. Uh, yeah, so we just need box. this one because it makes the um, box that goes inside the casing, right? So the top needs to be open to hold our treasures. So we need two of that and two of this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here are my pieces here. 
And this simply is just like any other box or base or drawer you're making. I'm going to give this a little bit of a zhuzh just so we can get it trained up. And we have all these uh, glue tabs and you know you can take a moment to do that or just kind of go like this and you'll get them all basically going. And same thing for the other guy. This tab is going to go out or in depending on where we're putting it. And we're going to start, so uh, what happens is basically we're sticking these portions underneath, okay? And then we're going to finish it off with a nice piece in the back. So uh, however it is you like to do that, and actually we're just going to start like this. And just going around. So I'm going to get some glue going. A few of these little bits here. I like to get it really close to the edge more than anything. And just start right at the point of your heart. And I'm holding probably the first, you know, four or five, I don't know, several pieces there. And as the glue grabs, you can kind of move on to the next portion. You guys actually, I think this is going to be kind of quick. <laughs> um, really, really cute. So as I'm moving along, I'm just grabbing the next portion, the next little blue tabs down here. And I always do everything in the air if you feel more comfortable putting it down so that you know. Yeah, you can definitely do that and kind of bring this in. That actually feels a little easier even. And again, glue. as much as I can. I, I don't think I've ever used my work surface to help me with this and actually that feels really good because it just works and then I you know pick it up a little bit get that last bit in. And then we're gonna have this tab at the end that's gonna notch in up in the other direction so yeah that is really great. <laughs> so there we go. Um, I'm gonna let that set up just a minute So basically we're going to come in on the other side with this, so obviously this is going to have the tab that glues to that bottom. But let me just let this set up so I can let it go and I'll be right back. So, um, the other one I just trained it the same way, but this time the little tab is going to go in because you're definitely going to glue it. I like to put the glue right again to the edge, to this guy. Right, right on the edge of that score line. I'm going to let that set up before I start manipulating these guys under here, just like before. And I'm just going to open that up. And same thing as before, getting the glue and getting this guy underneath here. And if you want to put it down your work surface like I just discovered. <laughs> uh, that's too funny. I'm sure a lot of people do that. I'm like, oh, look at this. Okay, so again, I'm holding all these different things. That actually makes this really quick because you can just get it going and then make sure you're putting glue everywhere and just holding it down. So I'm gonna finish off my glue bits up here. That last tab, of course, we're gonna glue down. So I'm just letting my work surface help me out bring this over. That's going to be down in there. Making sure my tabs are down where I need them. There we go. Nice and snug. Okay, so I'm, again, I'm just going to keep massaging them, making sure everything's where it needs to be. And I'll be back once it sets up and we'll just finish that While glue tab. I'm holding this, I'm going to go ahead and move on just a little bit and get the glue on this tab. And just hold that too. Okay, so again, I have to keep holding it because it's still wet. But I'll be so right back. I'm holding that. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this guy over. And this is our last die cut. And again, I like to use the rough cut side to nestle up. So I'm gonna put the glue on that side, right to the very edge, because we definitely want that to hold. And we'll give it a little zhuzh. So we turn this over. Look how cute! Oh my gosh, perfectly shaped done really in a smart way. 
And then this guy pops on here just to cover up those tabs and make it look really nice and finished on the back. And again, it can also help you with your shape. And I'm just gonna hold that down till it's set and I'll be back. Okay guys, so we have our little um, boxer case drawer type thing. <laughs> look how cute, it's so sturdy, I love it. So always use, you know, really high quality, thick, paper for your construction. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is make the outer casing. And we can decorate this right now or just, you know, afterwards or however. Um, so I'm just going to use some black paper. Um, maybe we'll have some gold accents. Uh, I think it'll look really striking. We will see. So uh, we are, we're going to need this guy. And we're going to need to cut two of this. Um, you know, one for either side, because basically we're going to put make a little case that opens like this. So we need this one for either side. So we need two of these guys. And we're going to cut this one four times, because basically we're going to double up, just like we did right now, where we added our glue tabs and then we covered it. We're going to do the same thing um, for the outer casing, but you have a top part and a bottom part, so they each need two layers. So we need to cut this four times, okay? Um, that'll make sense when we actually start doing our assembly. And I think that's it for right now. So yeah, I'll be right back. Two of this, four of this, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we'll put that to the side. And for now we'll take both of these guys. On one of them we're going to cut off the glue tab, so uh, I'm just going to take one and just remove that right on that score line that it created. Okay. And then we're going to need two of these things, but we'll put one to the side for right now while we work on the other. Again, I like to give it a nice zhuzh, if you call it that. I don't know. That's what I call it. And then again, bringing these guys in. And like I said, it was kind of easier to kind of just use my surface and go like this. So we can get them all at once. And same thing for this other side. And you should probably do it now instead of waiting until you get there because then it'll be attached to something else and this is just easier. Okay. So again, ready to go. I already gave it that little zhuzh. This guy is going to connect up here and that's what's going to keep it opening kind of cool like. So I like my nice side facing up and we're going to do basically the same thing. So let's start down here again and just putting our glue and then we'll have our pieces to cover things up later. So again, we're starting from underneath, right on the tip there. Nice and neat. And it's literally the same thing we just did, but we're using half a heart. So again, I can put that down. Keep it right on there. And bring this part in. Just holding it down. I am liking using the surface. This is great. Right to the end. Go ahead and bring them all in and I'll just hold it all at once. That last tab needs to get underneath. There we go. So I'm just holding it right up against that heart shape, guys. And the tabs are underneath. And I just smooth them, massage them until they don't want to move away, right? Till the glue grips. So and that'll be really nice. And I'm going to do essentially the same thing on this other side. We're just going to, again, give it that zhuzh like I like to do. Fold in all my glue tabs. And on this side, again, start at the bottom and work my way up. And it'll be the same as this. It just won't have a glue tab, okay? Just on this opposite side. And I'll be right back. Sure if I'm quite ready, but we have our two halves. Isn't that cool? And then this tab, we're just going to bend it out. Because that's basically what's going to have it hinging for you. So I want to make sure that's really well adhered. So basically bring this over. Bring those two guys together. Very closely. Come back here. Basically, you're trying to make a complete heart, right? So, make sure we're nice and close. There we go. Something like that. I'm trying to get them even. There we go. Okay, there and there, and then bring it down. <laughs> so, I put these to meet in the center first, you know, and then bring the tabs together. Or the tab together, should I say. Okay, and I'm going to hold it there until so it doesn't separate because we need it to be nice and perfect juncture there. 
So I will be back. You're pretty secure. It says to turn it over, guys, and then you can open it up. So again, this needs to be pretty secure. And what we're going to do is glue these guys in here. Okay. So, you know, if you want the rough side down and this side facing up, however it is, it doesn't really matter. So, what I'm going to do is bring up all these pieces like this. Put the glue in every tab. Again, we're going to cover these up anyway on top, so just get some glue on there. And we do say to turn it upside down. That's what they're recommending. It'll be better. And just pop it in there. I know it's hard for you guys to see, but I'm just putting that essentially just like this, but this way. All right, so. I will be back. I'm just going to place that and hold it, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I just kind of set it now. After I really got it stuck, I just put my finger in there. You can obviously open it up more. And we're going to do the same thing for this next side. I am so sorry, guys. I have something in my throat. Okay. So, again, get a good amount of glue right at the base is what I really prefer to do of each glue tab. And then after this, we're just going to set some on the tops. So, um, again, just like this. I kind of did start it off in, up here because it was easier for me to see what's happening. And at least hold down these first few and then turn it over. Um, but that's just me. You know, maybe you'll find a different way. So I'm going to hold these first couple ones. And then I flipped it over and I was, you know, able to just lay everything down. So just making sure that these are pretty much in place and then going up again, just like before. And then I'll flip it over and rub my finger in there, okay? Okay, guys, yeah, so just got my fingers in there, and essentially it's this, and then this little guy goes inside, right? So we'll do that in a minute. But what we're going to do now is just uh, cover up these portions. So I did cut enough to cover the top and bottoms. If you don't mind, you know, leaving the bottom with the flap, the tabs, go for it. I cannot have that. <laughs> we need to cover it all up. So I'll cover this up here. And of course this one here, and then I'll flip it over and do the same covering up both these sides, okay? Okay guys, so we have our little case, and I would pick whichever side looks best to be the top, and I think the one we first worked with it, you know, um, the first side we did looks best, so uh, that's what I'll put towards the top, and then we can just open this little guy up, just kind of train it, and we'll pop our heart in. And let's... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How cute is that? This set opens more freely than the other, but I'm sure once it's trained up and keeps working, we'll be able to look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay. So what we're going to do is decorate the top. Of course you can decorate the sides. We have all these pieces. Um, I'm probably just going to do like gold inlays or, you know what I'm saying? Inlay with gold and you can do it on the outside and on the inside one. However it is, I'm going to decorate the outside. So I think I'll take this set. I'm going to run this through some gold paper just like this. So we'll have that, but we need one for either side, so I need two, right? Two of this. Um, and then the one that matches that is this one here. So again, we have the dots. You can mix and match if you want the dots in this filigree or however, but we need two of this. So not two of them, but one for either side. So this one. And this one, of course, when you run them through, you are taping them down so they do not move on your paper, so you can run everything through at once. So I'll have those two gold toppers. And then our little locking mechanism. So, let's see. You know, I'll cut these. I was going to say out of gold, too, is really lovely, but, you know, I'll probably do um, red, just to bring the red back to the outside of our heart. And, again, you can also cut base pieces if you want red underneath and the gold on top. I'm just making it very delicate looking. So I'm going to need one of these and uh, one of these and one of these. <laughs> so I will be right back. Maybe I'll do red and gold. We'll see. Okay, okay I'll so be right some back. some really gorgeous pieces cut here. Now I'll just adhere them, you know, just like I normally would. Um, a little glue. Again, you can do all your matte layers. Lots of pretty things in this showcase and I'll just pop that on here 
and split the difference it's about there do the same thing on the other side I'll also glue these guys on and I will just start in one area and just bring it around like that splitting the difference of that too gorgeous and then this little guy so this is our little clasp so for right now I'm just gonna get this going so we're folding it in half one side goes one way one side goes the other on the little score lines put a little glue in here to hold that together ah <laughs> A little bit more out here. So I'll pinch that together and then we're just going to glue this on here. So I'll just get some glue. Also not too much, just a little bit. And I'm just looking, it's like there's like a little embossed area there that shows you basically you're just popping that on there. Okay so I'll hold that down and then basically we'll stick this to our box and then this little latch will come in from the other side as you can see it bends so it'll latch on here from the opposite side okay but we'll do that in a minute okay guys I'm look how gorgeous that is again just with a simple inlay um, we can pop this it back in right now why not and I mean that is beautiful oh my gosh okay and so now we have these pieces here. So have these pieces here. And actually I have this backwards because I think this goes right on the edge so that when this comes around it latches there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I love the way uh, Tonic makes their little latches. Super cute. And they just work really well. But I'm going to make sure this sticks down really, really nicely. So I'm going to pop that right there. I'm going to hold it down for a minute before we put on the other side. Okay. So, I, you know, I pop that in there just because, but obviously you don't have to have that in there to put your latch on. There we go. And then this little guy comes over here. So what I'm going to do is put there first so I know that I'm gluing it in the right area. Okay. Let's put a little glue on this. And... And I'll just kind of hold it down like that, put that there, and just making sure that we're holding on to this area here. And I'm right at the edge of my paper, and basically that meets up perfectly, so that works for me. So I'll just hold that down. Okay, guys, so there is this gorgeous box. It feels really nice. We know about the size, kind of, so let me just measure it one more time now that it's all complete. It's like almost three and a half inches tall by mm, about three inches in this direction. The height is about an inch and a quarter or so. We have this beautiful piece. I mean, you guys, how gorgeous is that? Really lovely. Again, the hexagon done very much the same way. And then I'm just gonna add a little twine just to close it up. Um, you can close it up however you like. Again, we have the little lock uh, and key. Those are just kind of like embellishment items. But I'll pop this in here and just tie it like that. Oh my gosh, really cute. Thank you so much, Tonic Studios, for sponsoring this video, for sending these items for review. I'll have images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box, guys. Have fun with this one. I really, really love this kind of box. So there we go. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.